the real world. More like poser ass stupid prep idiot world. This show is utter shit. There is nothing real about it. You must know what this show is considering it's been around about 20 motherfucking years. It features seven whiny, egotistical, sad teenage to early 20s failures of life. If you even bother to see this fucking rotting penis of a show, you'll immediately feel bad for the parents who had to raise the idiot motherfuckers that are participants of the show. This show fails by promoting stereotypes. You've got the typical drama queen white trash pretty girl. There may even be more than one white trash pretty drama queen who wishes people would give a fuck about her. Then there is the wannabe jock motherfucker who tries to act all tough and manly but is too fucking focused on that that he misses out on life. To satisfy affirmative action groups, they bring in a couple of token characters, the token gay motherfucker, the token Asian motherfucker, the token Hispanic motherfucker. There is even a token gangsta wannabe motherfucker and a black version of the pretty drama queen. How in the motherfucking fuck does this show appeal to anybody? Like Avril Lavigne loving fangy rules, all its participants do is complain about the little list of things, which is what any MTV reality show has its participants do. The characters are so spoiled and privileged that you wonder if they've ever faced real adversity. They cry about the little list of things, like a chipped nail or a cancelled date and act like babies who constantly fight. Every member knows every other member has got problems but refuses to help them fix it. Instead, they talk behind each participant's back, which creates unneeded gossip. They also try to exhibit control and become more of a control freakish motherfucker. That screams shallowness and being self-absorbed. The show promotes the idea that looking good and conforming gives you more of a chance of succeeding than being yourself. And what is the point of following somebody around, even if they are famous or interesting? If you like following the lives of any human being, your life must be boring, as fuck. And why follow these seven people who are as insignificant as the smell of the shit of stupid young fangirls or fanboys? If any viewer of the real world tries to model themselves after real world participants, they might as well become a fundamentalist that uses terrorist methods to wipe out anybody who disagrees with them. The real world also gives its viewers a false sense of actual reality and teaches them negative ways to live. No civilized human being spends every day complaining about minimal things or tries to exert control over everybody else. Nor does the average civilized human being handle every situation with shallowness and idiocy. These seven idiot participants also don't work as hard as regular people to survive the daily grind of life, because they are too spoiled and shallow. There are people who live in houses that are less fancy than the ones the real world participants live in, or don't live in houses at all, if they are homeless, yet the real world tries to push the belief that every young person lives in a glamorous house. It also teaches people to use sex to gain whatever they please. I'd even go as far as to say Friday Night Lights gives people a more realistic view of life than the real world. If you want a show that focuses on actual reality, you can always watch the news or even shows like Mike and Mike in the morning, which do focus on actual significant events. The show is as fucking boring as music you'll find on the early years of Smallville. The lack of story progression bothers me as well and would bother anybody who attempts to survive a couple of seconds of viewing this show. It is obviously scripted but goes nowhere. If you've seen one episode of The Real World, you've seen them all. Any story with actual story progression, even if it sucks, would be an improvement over The Real World. And despite the show's attempts to bring in characters that fit every race or every sexual orientation, it shuns fat or unattractive people. 
Why? Because its ratings would go down. All MTV cares about is keeping its totalitarian money-based beliefs alive. In other words, MTV is pushing the impression that you've got to look good, be shallow, and be a control freak to succeed in life. The only people who like this show are stupid females who let MTV dictate their tastes and males who let their dicks do the thinking. If this were the actual real world, my words would be good by cruel world.